the biggest question tonight is who has to make the adjustments him or Texas and here we go first pitch swing and a miss All right, Jordan center field Mike Antico will lead things off as our batting order and the one two and that's that high fastball and he picks up strikeout number one. The only way the approach is going to change is if you force him to change the approach and, and it starts right here. No instead he throws him a breaking pitch and he's picked up two strikeouts. Well oh, he's feeling it already and it's early. You usually want to get the starters the good ones early in the game. He's got the fastball working both up down. And that's on the ground to the shortstop Forsythe. That's a quick one there. Good job by Bednar. Slow one right back to Stevens and look out a little high throw and none of that looked real smooth putting out this lineup of Rowdy Jordan Tanner Allen Cameron James this guy a three run shot and he sends one up the middle and that's going to get through Tanner Allen. Yes he did and that's a strikeout for Tristan Stevens. That one to the second baseman staying down on it nicely as Mitchell Daly and Tristan Stevens gives up just one hit to Allen and he's got a 3 0 pitch and that's a walk so a little different for Bednar to start off the second this is very aggressively and here comes that bunt and it's going to be Bednar who will go to first and there is your sacrifice to get the first chance for an RBI with a runner in scoring position it's Cam Williams. No two this ball is pounded to right field Allen going back now he turns and it is gone Cam Williams his 12th and a very different story for the Longhorns against Bednar they lead it two to nothing. KP we talked earlier about making adjustments. Good pitch on the corner strikeout number three for Bednar as Hodo. Walks back, chewing gum. Fastball right here to get hold of for the third strike out of the game. Back to the to that Williams home run. And he's gone. Bednar, after giving up the bomb, strikes out a couple. And the app back here. That one is laced up the middle, and just like that, State will start at the bottom of the second with a Logan Tanner single. The way you want to manage the game. The Jacksonville transfer grounds one to Daly to Faltini, and that's an easy 4-6-3 double play. Set at the beginning. Number eight hitter. Sky high to middle infielders go out. They give way now that the sun pops out. Throw it just off. Didn't get Arduan to go after it this time. Comes back, challenges fastball. And Allen is under it. <laughs> Good pitch called strike three. Kennedy gone. Bednar a one, two, three inning. He has got five on every day. Making contact this one to the line and left going over and it's off the glove of the left fielder Kennedy. A good effort but it's going to be a leadoff double for Kellum Clark going the other way. And he's pulling an Anthony Rizzo here and he gets it down and there will be no throw to third because the runner wouldn't go to third. That Smart. just gave wow. up and out. I'm not sure if Faltini saw that he right off have. the bat. He didn't, and then he back up the middle and through, and that's going to bring in Kellum Clark from second easily with Antico respecting that power. States on the board. Allen's two for two. It's two to one. Slider stays up. All that baseball player. As James sends this one to Faltini, he gets a charity hop, then he fires across the diamond for the out. Moment. Mm. Earlier this year, that's strike three, and down goes Mitchell Daly. But the day in, day out, you talk to basketball coaches, you wouldn't believe Major League Baseball managers, there's nothing that's fun about any of this. And it got him swinging with a slider. Door version strikeout number seven for Will Bednar. A couple changeups in the at bat, fastball to get it back to three two, and it goes backdoor breaking ball right here. It looked like Williams. 
the catcher chases one in the dirt. He's gone. That's another strikeout. De Bruyne, Faltine, got him, and another one, two, three. Two for 12, but this one is driven deep to left field. Going back and looking up is Cumbest, and it bounces off the bottom of the wall. And he will put the brakes on right there. Douglas Hodo's ninth double of the season. And what a way to start the fifth. Ardouin to the second baseman, and a slow one that De Bruyne throws to first. This one to right center. That one's going to get into the gap, and Antico's going to go. He brings in the run. Texas now up three to one, and Antico delivers a double. That's his 16th of the year in RBI 3-1 Longhorns. Bednar will be a really good hitter. And that one is down the line and right fair ball. And Cumbus will lead things off with a double. Boy, State, and they answer. Ninth double of the season for number 33, Brad Cumbus. And a liner over the head of the second baseman. Cumbus did not know if Daly was going to be able to catch that ball. So he now makes it to third base. But men are on the corners with nobody out. One too many change-ups. This one stays up. The other one that he spit on was down in the dirt, so it looks a little bit more elevated. You see the circle change? He's swinging on the ground over Faltini. He'll go to second for one to first. They'll turn the double play. State does get a run as Cumbus comes in, too. And here is Rowdy. And this one is to the gap in left center, and it's down. He'll take a big turn. Beating up the middle. Faltini will catch it with his foot on the bag, and that is a force out. And this ball to center. About face goes Jordan. He will stop just shy of the track and make the play. And how about that? A stop there from Cameron James. He walked himself. Not going 1-2. And that one is past the dive of the second baseman, Daly. James will go to third. And he's in there safely, diving head first. Luke Hancock delivers with two strikes. Men on the corners again for State. Talk about pitching, defense. First pitch, high hopper over the head of the third baseman. Tying run, James is in. To third base goes Hancock, breaks her on there. And how about that hop over the head of Cam Williams? Tanner, a double second hit of the night. And we are tied with two in scoring position and nobody out. That's a walk, and they are loaded right now for State. Slow roller to third. He'll come home with it. That's the force out. Ardwan will not go to first. Heads up play by Cam Williams, who jumped on it. Cumbus try to hold up. Yeah, there's some good hands over there on that left side of the infield. Williams can also play short. There's some range and good footwork. That's a good pitch, and he's gone looking. Quintanilla picks up the strikeout. And the bases stay loaded with two down. It looked like a pretty good slider to me, Eddie. I, I... Got him swing. What a job by Cole Quintanilla out of the bullpen for the Longhorns. Two and two to Williams. And good job hitting that baseball in the left field. Williams adds a single to that home run leadoff man aboard for Texas in the seventh. Well, he's been getting a high dosage of fastballs away ever since that home run and gets another one here. He punched out 15 in his first start against Texas. Works into the seventh today. Seven more strikeouts for Bednar, but he will give way to the closer right here. Got him. That's 89. Looked like it was 99. Faltini strikes out. There's the approach. Come in, get him to two strikes. Sims just takes that four seamer and throws the daylights out of it. That one gets past Tanner and now into scoring position. Get a run home. That's right at the knees and that's strike three. Yes, it is. Sims. Here's where 
I think these two bullpens are a little bit different tonight. What a start here. Roddy Jordan just drops one into center field. And strikeouts, here it comes. On the ground, double play ball. Daly, Faltini, wow. They get Tanner Allen to hit into a 4-6-3 double play. And just what Cole can... Oh, called strike three. What a job by Quintanilla. This one is popped up. Right field. Allen ranging to his right. Now heading back on the track. Ooh, got two strikeouts and a pop up. That's strikeout number three. Two two to Zubia. That's in there. That's another strikeout. And Landon Sims has got four of those. He gets the call. May have been an inch off or not. The Brule thinks so. Inside that one hit him and probably hurt on that elbow. Perfect punt. Throw to first. Campbell goes up to second base. Good job by Mitchell Daly. And he lifts this one to left. Cumbus goes back short of the track. Campbell coming hard to third. He will make it in there. And this one has popped up. Right field, Allen going back. He's on the track, and he makes the running catch. Oh, two, did he go? Yes, he did. One and two. No, that got him on the foot. That's a mistake. Ahead one and two, and he hits Kellum Clark. Winning run to first base. It looks like they will run for Clark right here with one out. This kid can run now. Braylon Skinner. Runner goes. Ardwan's throw is high, and he is stolen second base. Braylon Skinner putting pressure on Texas. We'll shade to Dave Roberts with the Red Sox. To Tanner Leggett. That ball is into left field. Here comes Skinner. He's going to score. And Mississippi State walks it off and walks into the College World Series Finals. Third walk-off win in Mississippi State's World Series history. Luke Alexander in 18, Marshall Gilbert in 19, 